very privileged to be joined by Josh from Silosis. How's life back in Blighty, mate? It's hot. It's really hot today, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's the two hottest days of the year so far. So, yeah, but all good. All good. How about you? <laughs> First time for everything, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, so you're going to be part of our big Trivium event. Um, yep. So being from the UK and having loads of mates back home, that are full-blown, die-hard. If you say something bad about Silosis, it's like you've just said something bad about their mother-type fans. Oh, cool. Um, and this being a complete global event, is this a really brilliant chance to get Cycle of Suffering out to everybody and get a chance to play these shows? I know the circumstances are insane, but when you get to take your new music out to everyone everywhere, does it still is it still able to conjure the excitement? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like, yeah, it's I guess maybe even more so than playing regularly because I mean, like, there's no limitations. Like, everyone in the whole world could potentially watch if they wanted. So, um, yeah, I mean, uh, it, it was a shame. This was like a, a little bit of downtime from Architects, so we had. Solos has had like a you know a select bunch of festivals that we wanted to do this year and that we can't do now. Um, so it was kind of a shame that like doing some shows on this album uh, wasn't going to happen. So yeah, like doing this is is awesome for that reason. And yeah, like you say, it's um, I think you know the potential uh, of like exposure to more people than we, we would have been playing to anyway potentially. So. So with this new record, and um, have you been actually together playing? When you're doing this set, are you going to be in the room together or is this going to be quarantined or how is this going to work, man? Uh, no, we'll be in the room. Yeah, it will be. Um, I mean, it's yeah, it's like a couple of weeks away now. And like by that point, I think as of the 4th of July here, like some of the restrictions change a bit again. But I mean, it's just something that we can't really avoid um so yeah the four of us four of us will be playing in a room we won't i don't know if we'll have been able to like rehearse as a band but luckily everyone in the band's a really good musician so i think that we can practice on our own at home and when we come together it's just fine you know I'm, like, I'm so yeah. <laughs> I'm so chuffed for you, Josh, because your you. life is guitars to the point that literally there is a rack of them behind you as we yeah, talk yeah. right now. Oh, exactly. So, yeah, has it has it killed you, lockdown? Has it has it been a nightmare, like for not being able to do what is essentially like I associate you with your instrument more than just about every other musician I know. Uh yeah, yeah, potentially. To be honest, like lockdown has been great for me i can't complain at all like uh but i have a one-year-old daughter well she my daughter turned one during lockdown in april and it normally my day revolves around being in here which is like a home studio working on music um all sorts of stuff to do with both bands that i'm in and because of my wife not being able to go out and do all the stuff she normally does with our daughter I've been forced to be like, you know, put put more hours in for dad mode, which has been amazing. But um, I've actually been, yeah, been playing and writing even less than I would normally before that. Whereas most people, like a lot of people I know, especially that don't have kids who are being like furloughed, are like, oh, I'm so bored. And I'm like, oh, if I had the time, I'd be writing so much more music right now. But um, <laughs> yeah, then obviously the fact that like Silosis were about to do some shows, like we, we did a comeback show, which was cool. Um, but we had a bit more festivals. It was looking forward to just, you know, doing some of that stuff. But um, I can't complain. Like, lockdown for me, I yeah, it's, it has been great. Like, you know, it's more time with my daughter and stuff. So no complaints. So uh, July the 10th, A Light or a Distant Mirror, you're going to be uh, providing the support for Trivium, right? One of the things that I've really loved about the last two Trivium records is it feels like a real... Uh, a collection and hybrid of so many different sub genres within the walls of metal that still come together and create like a sound that is uniquely triviums but you can hear so much of what's going on in metal right now in it and when i listen to cycle of suffering i think 
Sugar fans could like it. I think Testament fans could like it. Some of the breakdown and mosh calls are so hard they could be on a hate breed record. Um, does it feel like a really cool opportunity to to bring that to people? And what I really wanted to ask was, is that a reflection of you and how much like different sorts of metal you're into and that you absorb and put out into your music when it comes to Silosis? Yeah, a hundred percent. And like more so with Cycle of Suffering, the new album, because I think when we first started gaining traction and releasing music, you know, 2006 or whenever, Metalcore started like becoming like, you know, the, the thing that everyone was doing. And I think I sort of had this knee jerk reaction of like, well, you know, I grew up listening to all this trash stuff, but I also loved, you know, Poison the Well and Kill Switch and stuff like, like most people my age would have done, like loads of. Or bands like terror like loads of hardcore but i kind of deliberately was like now nah, we need to separate ourselves from what's going on and like we're going to tune our guitars up and not play like obvious breakdowns and stuff um and now that i'm older like i, I you know back in the day i was kind of like right we need to pick a lane and we're just going to like appeal to the more like metallic fan base but like that kind of is like chopping off like a limb because i listen to all kinds of music and like obviously i'm in architects which is a very different sony band and like loads of people might be like kind of surprised or at least when i first joined but like yeah i love like deftones obviously i love i've always loved architects and been friends with them for a long time i like you know jimmy Eat world like i like so many different types of music so uh i feel like our new album's definitely just a bit more like okay who cares like what people might think like this is just what we want to do and it's like what is fun and exciting to play and uh yeah with, with trivium as well like um i think me and matt are like pretty much the same age and i feel like we both probably grew up like listening to all the same stuff like all the bands that i grew up listening to as a kid that were like thrash and death metal were like there was loads of florida bands they're from florida love like early metallica and that kind of thing but also again like i said like like bands like kill switch or whoever so i think we have a very similar um pool of influences as well what have you been listening to during lockdown man like uh, during lockdown i, I like I, i've got a real musical boner for polyphia like i've never really given them the attention they deserve that guy rips right i'm not i can't say i'm too familiar with them um what I, i've been listening to like the new testament album has been fun um going back over just listening to a lot of old deftones um the new loathe record is awesome yeah, I, I've been listening to it like podcasts, like when I'm doing the washing up. So, <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to write <laughs> with the, mo the moments that I do get uh, to like work on music. I'm obviously trying to write as much as I can in the time that I have. So um, I'm more just kind of like focusing on just writing and working on, on new stuff. And not to put pressure on you here at all, mate, but uh, having a, an opportunity like this. In the UK right now, there is so much brilliant heavy music being made. It's, it's funny, man. Like, the first two names that I wrote down when I was like, right, this band and this band and this band were Bleed From Within because the new record is amazing and yeah. uh while she sleeps and it dawned on me that i saw you three play a show together at the underworld years and like literally over a decade ago yeah and, yeah you did and here yeah. we are like still at the forefront of it but being joined by the likes of Conjurer and employed to serve and Loathe, venom yeah. prison yeah, and yeah. you said lows like there's so many sick bands does it yes. feel like the uk are really doing something important in the world of heavy music at the moment yeah, I think so. And I think especially like the list of bands you just gave, it's so diverse. And obviously like Conjurer, like Connor, our new bass player in Silosis is in Conjurer as well. Ali, Ajrama is in Bleed From Within. So it's quite incestuous as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like the, I, I feel like there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of difference as well in all those bands. Like, like I mean, I already just said that, but that that's something that's really cool. That there's just so much variety. And like, I, I don't know if there's like, there's obviously not like a huge amount of bands because obviously we're a very small country by comparison to like the US, but the bands that do stand out, it's like no one's really doing the same thing or in the same way, which is cool. And like, yeah, like Thanks. us, yeah, us bleed from within and while she sleeps, obviously the architects are all still going and bring me, you know, it's great, great to see. And so people will lynch me if I don't ask about architects. And uh, this is, I think this is like, we've hung out loads, but like, I think this is the first actual interview we've done since you've been in architects. Yeah, so, probably. Like, yeah. 
I I thought Holy Hell was a massive triumph. I was so chuffed for you all that it did so much around the world as well. Um, so I'd be remiss to say you were probably at the end of that album cycle. Um, has work begun on New Architects? Uh, yeah, so we, to answer the first part of your question, yeah, we pretty much wrapped it up anyway. Like the, the last show we did on Holy Hell was we did Unify Festival in Australia. And... Um, so yeah, we're very fortunate that we didn't have anything planned during this period, which is such a relief because a lot of bands have had to cancel their tours and like, you know, crew not getting paid or, you know, no money coming in. And we'd sort of planned for this time off. So we're very fortunate. Um, in terms of new stuff, I mean, me and Dan, I think are both the same in that there's never a writing period. It's just, we write music all the time because it's just what we love and like that. The creative side, of if the band is just like so important as well so it, it's kind of like we're just always going to be working on on new stuff but um yeah well hopefully you know we'll do uh, some stuff are again. we at, are we at the full are we at the full song stage or are we at the piecing together stage oh it's it's a, a mixture yeah i mean there's you know also there there'll be songs where like yeah, there might be a full song, but it might also never make it to the album. So, I mean, there there was there was songs like there must have been about four songs that didn't make it to Holy Hell, but those those ones, it's kind of like that was then. So you just kind of move on that kind of thing. So, are yeah. you are you are you constantly in touch with the guys during lockdown? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're like you know my, some of my best friends. So I'll Facetime sam you know nearly every other day a lot of the time so yeah <laughs> just well give him all my best when you, yeah we'll give do. him all my best when you speak to him next tell uh sam that i'm very gen uh, i'm very jealous of bruno fernandez being at man united and um it'll be a pleasure for us to link up again july the 10th silosis supported trivium on a light or a distant mirror it is the global metal event of the summer don't forget you can get tickets live.trivium.org check out the new silosis record cycle of suffering i love disintegrate on that record man oh, it is you, so big thank so so, so good man i'm so chuffed for you so see you again july 10th mate cool right nice one bees take it easy